M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel and videos about the GSOC that's connected to my G90. So I've got it in CW decode mode. I sort of left it alone and it sort of, it did start to decode. You can see clock and fishing and, you know, there's, there's words there that it's definitely decoding. So let's go back to click out of this window, hit the X. So the audio is coming out of, not from this unit, it's actually coming out from the G90. I don't know why, that's what it shows. So if I go back to LSB, then it will start to come out of this device. You have to press enter. And, and it's, you know, it's gone slightly off frequency, but if I move it here. You can hear that. So to go into decode mode, I selected CW lower. You hear you hear it switch then to the other device. Sorry, to the back of the G90. Enter. Then we go to we we make sure that we've got the menu here on number two. We get the option to go to mode, and we can plug in our keyboard just by adding a dongle on the USB connector if that's I'm not sure if that makes it any easier but we can we turn this on and off or just use a normal keyboard you know normal mouse but yeah look that's working and so do the keys now we're going to press modem it goes into modem and the most at the moment the see the frequency it's letting me select the squelch. Now earlier, it would actually let me select the frequency, but now I'm not really sure. I'll just, I'll just try it a bit. You see the squelch, you've got these things here. You can, that's your clear button, you clear everything. This is your send. Where you send. Again, I haven't got it to send, but um, <clears throat> I've got it to go into this menu here, settings, where you can fill out, and if you go down low, fill out these messages at the back, yeah, that you can see there, preset. Tick out of that. Right, so after a pause, so there must be like a lag between communication, I've now got, I can tune, okay? I find if it's too loud, it, it, it can't really cope with it. So what, I, what happened for me is after a while, I just left it alone. And after a while, it started to, do, to show decoding here. You can see the words per minute are adjusting. Now, can we adjust that as well? Let me just try my little mouse. Not really good mouse, this one really. But anyways... I recommend just use a normal wired mouse. Yeah, so I would say no. I don't think that actually adjusts, but you can see the different modes there. So you can move this around here. I put it where the peak is. Like just move it around and you start to get some So I think give it a go, you know? You might have better luck than me. I got some decoding. If someone's had a good go at this, and then of course you can try RTTY. On the right frequency. And good leave it. BPSK. I think it would work. It's like any of these decoding ones, even the the Zy you know, the X six one hundred. You've got to faff around a bit, haven't you? 
and then sending wise you've got all this you can create different messages there's preset messages as well I noticed you've got a keyboard there if you want a keyboard not gonna let me enter that Oh, sorry, wrong button. Red X there. Keyboard there. Delete. And a tick gets you back. It's a nice looking window. It's a nice looking set. And I'm finding on SSB it seems okay. Have you noticed the volume's coming out of the head unit now? give it a go and then Bluetooth wise I've been playing around with that and you can tap the where it says G90 online and I noticed if you pl plug a cat lead into this it actually says cat online so I wonder what we can do with that but anyway tap that Bluetooth and then you can search now the idea is that you can detect your PC computer Bluetooth dongle and then connect this to FL Rig, and there's instructions that they give for that. But I've tried it, and it's not picking up my dongle. I'll try again with a different dongle. Um, but once we've got it connected, we'll see if we can. So, best of luck. And then we can also set the date and time here if we tap at the top here. Overall, I'm ha for what the price device costs. I'm happy with it because it gives me a screen, you know to use for my G90 which is big as my 101 which is just coming on now and when I compare them they both actually work quite well both um, so and you think what the 101 costs compared to the let's turn this up come out of the decoder That's 150, and I put the other one on 150. That's the 101. That's 166. 166 on the 101. You know, that's the G, that's the G sock you're listening to. That's the 101. So if you ask me, making my G90 do that, yeah, and it's touch screen. It's got the I can control the tuner from here. For me, it's a no-brainer that it's an it's worth it's worth the three hundred and thirty-three pound I think it was to get this to me in the UK, and that's the price that everyone pays. I think that's worth it. And yeah, you can rip into it and find lots of faults with it, just like you can with the X six one hundred. But I think for what you get, it's worth it. Bye for now.